Hello and welcome to GVS Academy. In this video, we will be seeing how you can make use of file manager to deal with the files over the servers. So using the file manager, we can create folders and files. We can upload and download files, you know, to and fro the servers. We can edit codes of the files. We can compress and decompress the files. We can move the files to trash and again restore them or we can just move or see the change the path of the files or delete it uh, you know completely so all these things we can do using the file manager under cpanel so let's practically see how we can do so okay now, so this is my domain name or so this is my website and i want to manage its files so i need to log into the cpanel enter over here you can search for file manager okay uh see the interface might differ but uh, still you can uh, search for this file manager option or directly use the search bar and type file manager and you can get that option okay so just open that okay so these are the files and public underscore html is the uh, you know file where file or c folder uh, which exactly is our website and now let's just create a folder under this public and underscore html so to create a folder we need to click over here create folder or in case you want to create a file on this level of uh, you know uh, file manager uh, you can just click on file over here right now i will be creating a folder and under that folder we'll see all the uh, you know operations what all can be performed uh, using file manager so click on folder tutorial so we can see the path over here okay this manager so you can see a path over here okay under this we are creating a file manager tutorial folder okay so here it is file manager tutorial open it so what we have seen we have seen to create the folder right now we if in case we need to create a file then we need to click over here click file and give the file name and you can see the path over here public underscore html file manager and then we'll have the file under it for example listing file manager and we need to give the extension as well for example dot html is the extension then yes perfect so you can see a html file has been created on the you know on the servers basically we can say through this way now next let's see create folder and files is done we need to upload and download files then how we can do so for example we need to upload a file from our local pc to the server how are we going to do that click on upload over here on the top right and click on select file let me show you once again click on upload over here on the top okay and then select the file which you want to upload for example on the desktop let me upload this you know text file that's you know simple text file okay so it has been uh, you know uploaded let's go back yes now you want to download for example the same file okay how you're going to do select the respective file and then you can see the options shows up that is download okay just hit download click on it and you can uh, select wherever you want to download uh, let me just download over here and save see dot html file is successfully downloaded similarly you can download any file from your you know uh, file manager now let's see edit quotes and text online so for example this is the file and i want to edit its code okay how am i going to do that just click on it right click okay you can see the edit and html edit option so it's a html file so i'm just going to click on html edit and click yes and as you know we have just created the dummy file so we don't have any code over here so usually there's going to be you know all the code i can just say for example it's all you know doc type and let me uh else now let's just upload a file which has some code okay and then we'll try editing that so you can see there's a file and we're gonna we'll edit it right now html edit yes edit click on source yes so you can see there's a code over here 
right and you want to edit anything over here then you just make the changes whatever way are changes you want to make okay for example let me just try so I'll just simply dummy okay once it is done once the change is done don't forget to click on save okay you need to click on save then the changes will be saved successfully so it is done you can see how we can edit the you know quotes and text online and then we need to compress and decompress the files let's see so for example this is the file and i want to compress it to uh, for example zip it okay we just need to click on compress and for example the compression type is zip and click on compress files you can see it is successfully compressed the html file okay and similarly if you want to de decompress any file okay this is a zipped file and you want to de uh, decompress click extract and extract over here yes perfect close so you can see successfully we have you know extracted this file or say decompressed the file so now let's see how to trash and restore the files so for example this is the file i'm going to move to the trash click on it and you will get a delete option click on delete option so if do not select this option if you want to restore it later on so just confirm now we have like moved uh, we can say deleted it from here but we can just view trash and over here you can see the html file is present over here and we can just restore it click on it and click on restore over here restore now let's just see if it is restored or no perfect you can see register.html is restored now if we want to delete it permanently what we can do click on it now to turn delete it permanently what we can do click on this file and click on delete and skip the trash check this option if you want to delete it permanently we cannot store this okay so yes confirm and if we retrash we will not get the register file see the registered file is not available over here so uh, now we have permanently deleted the file and next step is to see the move okay how we can move or say change the location of the file for example we are under this and we want to change the location of this file so what we can say and do click on move and over here you can change the path for example i want it directly under public underscore html so click on move files it is now moved to public underscore html let's see if it is moved or not yes over here test file dot html the file is now moved to the this level okay similarly you can give any path and move your files so this is it this is how you can make use of file manager to you know change or you know and deal with the files basically over the servers thank you for watching if you have any doubt please let us know and please subscribe to our channel jvs academy thank you